In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple match defense that can really help you defend the gun bunch. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how you can become the best Madden player you could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. If you want to sign up for my free text message membership, which basically every single week we send you for free a one hour offensive or defensive scheme of the week. If you want to get all of those schemes sent to your cell phone via text message every single week, or if you just want to ask me a personal Madden question, uh, my cell phone number is at the top right hand corner of the screen. You can sign up for it by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Alright guys, in this video we're taking a deep dive into some match concepts, actually a very in-depth um, little defense that you can use to really slow down a lot of what the bunch likes to do. And the way we're going to do this is through really capitalizing on a specific type of user uh, setup. So I'm going to set some audibles here, some of the popular concepts. I've got mesh, I've got a uh, bunch trail, uh, I've got... Um, Mesh, Z-Spot, uh, Smash Return, and then I'm just going to come out in the play, um, I'm just going to come out in the play Flood, because Flood is one of the better concepts for dealing with match, and you know what, I'm actually going to take, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to take Mesh out of it, because I'm just going to use uh, Jets Dig instead, and then I'll just basically create Mesh with Hot Rod Master. Okay, so let's dive into this. So first things first, I just want you to watch, this is, this is just, I'm going to audible down to cover four show cover four show two out of 335 wide if you want to get my 335 wide defense it's the best defense in madden you can get that in the description for just 15 bucks literally walks you step by step through how you can actually run the best defense in madden it's been the best defense for the entire year that i've been running this uh since last june but real quick i want you to i want you to see this so if i run this concept right here against this cover four show two what you're going to see is that the match is going to basically glitch out. One of the things that Bunch does really well is it causes a lot of conflict with match coverage because of where players are at on the field. There's one simple uh, simple thing that you can do to actually neutralize this a little bit. So the first couple things that we can do. The first thing that I want to go over is what do you do with a couple of different assignments. So um, first and foremost, if you think about quarters match coverage, um, cover four show two, match coverage like this. Um, there's a couple of things that I think are really, really important. The first one is this shift adjustment right here, where I'm gonna shift my defensive line to this side of the screen. Now, from that point, I'm gonna take this guy right here, Smith, and I'm actually gonna bring him down in the box and I'm gonna set him right here. The reason I'm gonna do this is for any run that they could possibly run. So let me just show this out of like the bunch open. So you'll see, even if even if they go to this, then all I'm gonna do is just move him over here. But what you're gonna see is if they run inside zone, I'm gonna be able to pretty much blow that up with my user. If they run quick base backside, I'll be able to handle that as well. So I actually really like to user this weak side safety um, against the bunch, especially if they're running a lot of quarters, or uh, especially if I wanna run match coverage. So essentially this looks kinda like a nickel normal almost, but as you'll see, we've really loaded a lot of defenders on the right side so that we can have the flexibility to be able to make some adjustments and, thing, and, and do some damage to the way they're gonna play. So what I like to do uh, in this quarter is really, really simple actually. I'm just gonna take the two blitzers. Um, so that's the defensive end on the right side, and I'm gonna take the linebacker on the right side, and I'm gonna man them up. So the first person I'm gonna man up is onto the tight end, just like that and then I'm gonna man the linebacker up onto the outside receiver. That's it, that's literally all I'm gonna do. And what you're gonna see is it's going to take this flood concept that was originally a one play touchdown, and it's gonna basically neutralize the whole thing. If you, if you take a look at this, you're gonna see that the man coverage is gonna do a really good job of following right up the seam and taking this away. The other reason why this is really, really good is for um, the mesh concept which I believe the mesh concept and the smash return are two concepts that are really, really critical to any effective bunch. This simple little adjustment right here, again, we're not doing anything, we're just manning up a couple of the problems, 
But I want to show you the mesh concept. This is basically it right here. Where basically it's a flood like this, and we're going to motion this corner route out. Watch this corner route, though. The match coverage is going to do a really good job, and we're going to be able to easily take that away. Very, very simple and very, very effective. Another concept that people like to do out of Gun Bunch is they really like to take the tight end and really leverage his route running and his unbumpability. And so they'll do something essentially like this right here. And what do, I just want you to watch the tight end on this play. You're going to see that this is going to completely bag him. As you can see right there, well, I guess he got open on there, I guess. But typically this is going to completely bag uh, the tight end. Now, one thing I will tell you is the one thing that can cause us a little bit of problem is if we man up the tight end um, too frequently. So, for example, let me show you what I mean. So, if I if I man this uh, this guy right here up on the tight end, when the match goes specifically out of that smash return setup, where the tight end is on the corner, so it's like this combination right here. What you're going to see is this X receiver should get matched out there, but because I've manned up the tight end, it can cause a little bit of friction with that. So what I would tell you to do is to go ahead and basically do this. I would I would still man up the circle receiver, and then I would say if you man, let me show you what happens if you man up the slot. This is where the man up can be a little challenging. So if I man up the defensive lineman, I can only man him up on the tight end or the running back, as you can see right here. So, for example, if I do that right there, now I can have a little bit of friction with the tight end because if the tight end goes to the outside, I want the match coverage to sit on him. So I really don't know. I, I really don't have a great um, answer for what to do with this defensive end other than let me just show you something that you can do. So if I take this defensive end, for example, and I put him in a bluff blitz, you're going to see that that puts him into a three rack hook zone just like so. So now I have to do something with this linebacker, right? What can I do with the linebacker? Well, I could do something like put him in a middle third. Um, I could do, I could put him into a hook curl as another option. Okay, so now I just want you to watch um, specifically, and I want you to watch this tight end now that I do this. These are two potential adjustments that you can use to really help on this bunch side. Now you'll see the match does its job and it takes away the tight end. So um, you see that we have some different kind of strategies that we can use um, to really take care of the tight end uh, from a gun bunch scenario. Another example I wanna dive into just for a moment is this uh, mesh concept. So the same is true of the mesh. This is where it gets a little tricky and this is why Gun Bunch is so good. Um, so if I go to the play, uh, if I go to this play right here where I'm flooding and I'm just trying to get this outside corner route to circle, I just want you to watch how this play goes. You're gonna see that that guy sits out on there on him. Even though the man coverage is there, he'll still sit on him. So we've kind of deduced that one of the things that we really wanna do is we wanna man up the circle receiver from a match coverage perspective. Now another thing that we want, to, another little step here is if we take this approach where we base a line, you're gonna see that the defense is gonna play a little bit differently um, depending on, on where we're at because our leverage is now shifted. So anyways, all that to say, we really like to use this guy right here, Smith. Um, one of the major routes that can give the bunch, um, or one of the major other routes that can give, give us a little bit of issue from quarters is this route right here. Let me talk, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I take the running back and I just put him on like a smart routed option route, you're gonna see that it's gonna isolate him one-on-one -on -one with that linebacker. And so majority of the running routes, that, or the, 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 um, the running back routes that people are gonna run on us um, are gonna be something to that effect. So I wanna shift back for just a moment to my hook curl example. So I always wanna replace a three rec. If I'm ever in quarters and I take away a three rec, I always wanna replace it. But the last thing I wanna show is this adjustment right here to put this linebacker on the left side into a seam flat. And the reason why I like to do that, and I actually like to also um, take the corner that is on the left side, and I really like to put him in an outside third. Um, again, if you don't like this, then you could do something like this right here, uh, where you put that middle linebacker into a deep third. The reason I like the hook curl though, is let's just watch how this is gonna play out. So if I do a combination 
uh, something to this effect. Just kind of watch how this plays out. You're going to see that we're going to get nice coverage, kind of a double bracketed coverage on the tight end crosser. Now, the tight end crosser is still my responsibility, my primary responsibility as a user, but you'll notice that it's a lot more difficult uh, to hit that route. That's why I also really like this outside or this middle third and essentially uh, creating a cover three match to the left and a cover four match to the right. So then if they run a combination like bunch trail, uh, which is a which is a pretty popular little concept right here, uh, what you're gonna see is this bunch trail post route that gets open all the time is now gonna be thrown into double coverage because of that adjustment. So this is a simple way that you can get kind of a plus one advantage uh, to the bunch side. Another way you can do this, if you don't want to use her on this, this guy right here, then what you can simply do is take the, um, you, can, you can take, again, I would shift them this direction, I would use her right in here, and then I would just do the following adjustments. This little combination right here is gonna do a pretty good job. And then the beauty of this is, the, the number one thing you gotta watch out for is flood. Um, if you if you were to run a combination like this right here, the, the biggest thing they can do is they can run a flood concept. So the way that you can kind of get around that is throw a little curl flat zone out there. So then if they go to this play flood, this out route, that curl is gonna go right into it. So you'll see, throws right into the curl, curl flat and you're able to take that away. So those are a couple of adjustments that you can do from quarters coverage to really limit some of the possibilities of things that they could do to you from the gun bunch. I would use her on the left side out of quarters. And basically if there's an option route, I'd take that away with my user, or I would you know, sit on the crosser or like a slant, anything coming like a crossing route from the bunch to the solo side is typically gonna be your responsibility. But anyways, that is the quarters coverage. Now this is one of the number one defenses that uh, they used in the Madden Classic, Drady used in the Madden Classic. And so um, if you want to become a true fan of my channel, maybe you're sitting there and you say, I wanna really get good at Madden 21. Well, there's two things that I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to pick up the nickel 335 wide defensive guide. The reason why is because it's the best defense in Madden 21. It's been the best defense all year. And chances are it's gonna be a really good defense in Madden 22. But the net, so you can get that in the description. The next thing I want you to do, and even more important than the defensive guide, if you've already got the guide, or if you don't wanna get a guide and you just wanna get better, the really, the biggest thing I want you to do is join our true fan membership. And what a true fan is, is it's someone that is literally committed to their Madden game or they're committed to our channel. They're committed to really doing a deep dive into the game. And our true fans, you could sign up for just $5 a month. And for just $5 a month, what you're going to get is you're going to get a uh, offensive meta update every single week. You're going to get a defensive meta update every single week. So we're going to take a really in-depth look at what the best of the best players are doing on defense and offense, how to counter that, how to shift some of that. And then the, th the third thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to break down film and X's and O's of what the pro players are doing in the biggest money tournaments in the world. Um, our first breakdown was on Drini and his incredible run in the Madden Classic. That's available to you guys right now. So if you wanna get access to all of that material, I wanna invite you to become a true fan of our channel. Just $5 a month and you're gonna get some access to the best Madden content on the internet right now. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to you joining our true fan membership down in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is in the description as well.